Hey friends, welcome to another vlog. So I am in the airport lounge for Star Alliance, I guess. I'm flying Lufthansa to Munich, which makes sense. <laughs> um, although KLM has a huge uh, presence here, so I'm surprised I didn't go on them. Um, yeah, the uh, Amsterdam airport experience is rough. I'll tell you that. Um, when they say take out your electronics, they mean like every single wire that has ever been in your bag. Like in America, you take out your laptop and you can leave your phone in your bag and stuff like that. It's not a problem. But like here, it's like every single thing, like all your batteries, any like chargers, anything like that. So I had priority lane for the search and then my bag got tacked and my, he like had to dismantle my entire bag because I had stuff all the way down I have like four layers of stuff in my backpack like just you know little sacks that I keep stuff in four layers of them <laughs> and then packed all the way through so that was an experience <laughs> um, so my flight leaves in about an hour and a half and so I've been in here for about an hour I got here super early um, so yeah, just waiting to go to Munich. Uh, nothing exciting is gonna happen today. Honestly, I'm just gonna go to Munich and then I'm gonna go to my hotel and I'm gonna check in and I'm gonna have some dinner and then <laughs> hang out in my room. Uh, because it's a, I, I'm basically staying at the airport and the airport is like way far from actual Munich, so I'm not even going to actual Munich. And then tomorrow we go back to the airport to um, get together with the group and then we travel to Austria. By the way, I looked it up. We're going to Salzburg. <laughs> <laughs> like Strasbourg, some burg place. Uh, we're going to Salzburg. Uh, that's the first location of that we're going to arrive at, which makes sense because Salzburg Cathedral is supposed to be a thing. So I am very excited about going to Salzburg. So it should be amazing. And I'm looking forward to getting some schnitzel and some good pastries. I mean, I had tasty pastries here. The food in Amsterdam is delicious. BT dubs. Uh, do you recommend and recommend Dutch food? I tried bitter balls, which sound like thank you balls <laughs> or no, please balls, right? Bitter means please in German um, and I think Dutch maybe. Um, and so, but they're actually they're calling them bitter balls, and which is weird because they're not bitter at all, but they're meant to be eaten with bitters. Um, bitter balls are awesome. <laughs> they are tasty, tasty things. They have like, they take meat and flour and butter and I think onion, maybe one other thing, and they roll it into a ball and then deep fry that and it's pretty tasty. And I also tried the pancake. They have pancakes that are not like our pancakes. They are the size of a giant platter and they have savory ones. It look what they call salty but we would call them savory where they have like meat and stuff on them and then they also have and they have ones that are like half and half so they're like half meat and cheese and then the other half is like apples and Nutella or whatever and you're just like wow that's that's a crazy pancake and, and they're huge so um it was really good though tried that um what else did I eat here I had the stew at grandma's stew that was really good like traditional dutch stew that was probably the best stew I've ever had in my life so Thumbs up to this too. Uh, and then last night we went out for Italian, so I had Italian food. But I had some salsa and mocha and it was really good. Anyway, that was my food assessment of uh, Amsterdam.
Okay, I'm at the Ramana. I'm giving you a room tour. <laughs> this is my room. Boop. This room is significantly better than the last room I was just in, which was about half this size. Um, oh, this bathroom is actually pretty, pretty decent. Um, and didn't have air conditioning at all. And I was like, hi, I'm a spoiled American and I can't sleep because it's on the third floor and it's really hot and there's no air conditioning. And they, I'm like, can I go just move downstairs? I'll use the window, but it's warm out right now. And the guy was like, oh, I'll just move you to a room with air conditioning. And I was like, sweet, thank you. So I, I don't want to be a complainer. You know, the door lock situation at the last hotel? I didn't move rooms, but <laughs> no air conditioning. I'm moving rooms. I'm very satisfied with my new room though. <laughs> this is what 60, 60 euros gets you. I think that's what this costs, $60 maybe. So anyway, whatever, it's one night. So I made arrangements to go on the shuttle bus tomorrow at noon to get there to meet the other shuttle. I have to go on the shuttle bus from here to meet another bus, which I will then get on with Jenny and Kathy and Galen and the rest of the people who were on the trip. Um, apparently there's an Italian place next door. I'm like, I know I'm gonna get hungry, but I'm not hungry, but it's like eight o'clock and I don't wanna miss dinner, so I don't know what to do and I'm waiting for Galen to get here. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna wait like half hour, 45 minutes and see if she shows up. And if not, I'm just gonna go to get Italian food. And that's what's what. Wow, hair, hair craziness. Okay, so uh, the lighting though. Um, yeah, so I'm satisfied with this room because I have an air conditioner and that's really all it takes in life is to make me happy is let me be cold when I sleep. Uh, and then tomorrow the trip starts. So I think, oh, I wanted to show you guys this, which I'll put on this bed because it's white and you'll be able to see the thing. I got this while I was in Amsterdam and I never showed it. Um, we were looking at antique stores and I'm wearing this as a necklace, but it has um, a watch winder on it. This dates back to about 1870. Um, and then this is a stamp, so a seal. So when you wrote a letter to somebody, you'd wax seal it and you'd close it with this. Although, does anybody know, like they all seem to be flat on the bottom, so it's not really a seal. Um, I know it looks like there might be have something etched in there at one point, but it's just actually just tarnish. Um, she said this one was particularly Dutch because of the motifs on it. Um, and it's on a nice, long, beautiful chain. Um, and I found it in an antique store and I love it. I'm looking for a chatelaine. Um, those usually hold, well, in the 18th century, they, ha they held seals and watch keys and watches and stuff like that. And in the eight 19th century, they held like more like work tools. So thimble holders, pencils. Um, they did have watch fob keys on those. They also had uh, needle holders, tape measures, you know, stuff that you would actually like use to sew. Oh, scissor holders are very popular. They're um, quite expensive in the United States, uh, although you can find them and you can find pretty good ones um, in pretty good shape. So I'm looking for one. I just don't know if I want to spend like a thousand dollars on one, but this was not a thousand dollars. So I was very excited to find this. Um, so yeah. I've just been wearing it as a necklace while it, you know, when I was on the plane today, but I'll probably put it back in its pouch, but that's what it looks like. Um, let me zoom and see if I can get you a better image of it. It's rather dark in here now that I think about it, and this is like double-sided. I don't think this one is. Oh yeah, it is. They're very well made. Yeah, so you said something like 1870, 1875 for this guy. Today we're going to have morning bed chats. Um, so I slept for nine hours. Woo! I feel so excited. Woo, woo, woo. Um, yeah, I've been only sleeping like five or six hours because I, for some reason, can't, even though I'm tired, I can't sleep at night. And then I wake up super early and I'm like, well, I guess I'm up. <laughs> so I edit my vlog and stuff. So 
Anyway, um, weird that this little dorm room was the place I got the best sleep, although it smells like vaguely like cigarette smoke in here, but like not fully, just like that little hint, but whatever. I am happy to be in my 60 euro hotel room that looks like a dorm room and get nine hours of sleep. Woo. So, um, I met up with my friend Gay Lynn. I saw some of the people on our trip, so that's good. I don't, it's like 9.45. I've been up for like two hours already. I had breakfast. Um, and now we don't check out till noon and we have to meet the bus. The bus doesn't actually leave until like, I think two, like 1.30 or two, um, which means we're gonna go meet the bus at noon. <laughs> And then we're gonna sit on the bus for like two hours and then we're gonna leave and then we're gonna sit on the bus for like two and a half hours and then we're gonna get to Salzburg so not much is gonna be that exciting but uh, when I get to Salzburg it'll be exciting <laughs> so um, I just wanted to be like yay I got sleep for finally oh so happy I think I'm gonna like watch some Netflix or something for a little while and chill um, and then I think we don't have like a ton to do in Salzburg I think it's like go wander around so that's what I'm gonna do for a while check out what that place looks like apparently it's beautiful and there's a castle that's lovely so we'll see how it goes what up I uh, have located my group we are not sitting on a coach we're waiting for a coach currently and then we are off to Austria oh oh look what I found <laughs> <laughs> it's a tour with Kathy, so I'm sure she'll be in here a bunch. All right, this is my herd for the next, let's just say 11 days. Tribe, squad, the peeps, as it were. So this here's our bus. And her name is Barbara. We're riding Barbara. We're all riding Barbara. This is Galen my buddy from home she's in my sewing posse she's awesome okay we're gonna get on barber now have a good ride there's all these badass churches here but they look totally different I don't know if you can even see this because I'm in a moving bus but it has this cool like looks almost orthodox spire on it hey good word okay so we've reached the hotel it's super echoey in here because the floor is like tile um, this is the Hotel Hof Wirt in Salzburg. Um, I mean, it has a safe. <laughs> that is the bathroom area. And then this is the room. Which... Got a Kathy, got some other folks, got a Galen way over there, I don't know what she's doing. Uh, we're heading out and about, we're gonna look for some food. Look at this city. It's so cute and European. Look at this horse's head up here. Making our way downtown, walking fast, faces past and I'm homebound. This is what's happening. We're looking for food in probably all the wrong places, but here we are. Oh. Yeah, maybe. We got stuck in an antique shop for a little while. There have to be restaurants, like, down the street. All right, we found a steak place, and they have lady steak. What's lady steak, guys? It just for the ladies. This is made out of lady cow. What's in this? Small. I know. Mm. Check out the picture frame that we got as a. This is amazing. Anyway, this looks delicious. This is what our place of eating looks like. Baby cow. Mm. <laughs> Baby cow do 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 do. Okay, I got Wiener Schnitzel. <laughs> and we got the fish Thank with you. the fish skin chip. Thank you. We got some goulash. Chicken. Morning, guys. So it's Friday. 
Um, we are supposed to meet up in about an hour for a walking tour. So I might come do all the things I'm just about to do right now again. But I thought I would go out and about because I'm up early. I'm already eaten. And I thought I would go look at the town without having to be on someone else's schedule um, right now. So we just have a walking tour today. Um, to show us where stuff is, and then after that, we are set free for the rest of the day to do whatever we want. And then I think tomorrow we're going to Bad Ischl, which is a spa town. Holy crap, I thought this was a pedestrian zone. And yet, that happened. Okay, so um, nothing's open yet, except like a couple small shops. So she says as the store is open right there. Um, <laughs> But like all the other stores I'm looking at are closed, so I'm just walking around, taking in the sights. If I see anything awesome, I will show it to you. I mean, the city is beautiful. I'm kind of on the same street I was on yesterday, but I'm headed down towards the water. Um, gonna go see if I can see the fortress, which they said you can see from everywhere, except there's buildings everywhere, so I can't see every it from everywhere. Um, but yeah. Okay, now we're on a walking tour. Kathy is up. We are going around to see 
Jenny is going to tell us all the cool stuff in the area. And then we are free to run around and do the cool stuff on our own later, which I'm excited about also. Awesome. So this thing which I filmed earlier used to be a tailor's union. And these are the sewing motifs. Yeah, well, over 11.30, or 11. Everything looks fake. <laughs> it's just too clean. That's the thing. It's just, it's like they wash the buildings every night. But it all looks like macaroons, which I love, so. Macaron. Pew, 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 pew. All right, this is the sign for Zara. I'm like, it won't light. Well, you can see the McDonald's sign down here too. 
<laughs> they all have to match. So you can see even Zara, they're, they're a, you know, a modern brand, but they've got a very medieval looking sign with the scissors and the ribbons. <laughs> sure. It's umbrella. Oh. That's beautiful. It's great lights up. I'm going shopping. <laughs> No sightseeing for Kathy. <laughs> we found a store that might actually make me give up jeans and t-shirts. Oh, good. Oh, really? Yeah. Would you you like to two t-shirts <sighs> all the time? Yes. What do you do for a living? I'm a web producer. <laughs> Kathy Myra doesn't think happening here, but I'm not, sure, I'm not sure she's enthusiastic about being rescued. Uh. Kind of looks like she's waving back at us. <laughs> like, can you get this guy off me? <laughs> like, what? Wait. This would be a great. Put your caption. <laughs> Okay, so this woman really doesn't want to get rescued, and I don't know how that fig leaf is staying on this guy's area. Where's the closure? We found a secret door symbol. Anybody on the internet know what this is? Presumably it's protection. I think it's protection, protection, yeah. Okay, I'm in the Mozart's family home where Mozart Wolfgang was born. Wilby. I love that there's now a Starbucks across the street. <laughs> that just makes my day. Okay, so we just went to Mozart's birth birthplace and I wasn't like allowed to film in most of it, but it was pretty awesome. Did you like the... It was pretty awesome, except for the not being able to take photos. Yeah, we, we there's a couple sneaky photos, but... Yeah. Um, also, that's it right there, that yellow building. We bought Mozart balls, which look like this. They have Mozart on them. We don't know what they are, but we're going to give them a try right now I'm on camera. Chocolate. Yeah. I'm really confident. I'm feeling fairly good about chocolate. I can't open this and hold the camera. Okay, all right. It is chocolate. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, it looks like is it pistachio? I don't know. It's nutty. Show them what the inside looks like. I ate through my inside. It's better in the picture on the. It has like it's green in the middle, the and then light brown and then dark brown. I'm pretty good. We're gonna go spend a lot of Kathy's money now. I'll be right back. We're out doing a sanity lap because Kathy is about to do some a dangerous amount of damage to her credit card. But she's getting some amazing stuff. So I think it's a good decision. I do. It's a good decision. I would tell you if it wasn't. Yeah. So yeah. So um I didn't go up to the castle, but Frankly, shopping is more fun. So <laughs> that's what's happening here. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. Oh, here. Look. Have a church, folks. <laughs> Sorry about the lack of castle. It seemed uh, boring comparing to compared to watching friends spend money. I'm sure you all understand. Comments down below, please. We're doing a show and tell, and that show and tell is the random stuff that's being brought and handed out so we can play with it. It was made by my great grandmother. This is the start of a either a corset cover or a blouse. I don't know which because what you did is you put this on a hoop and you went and did the embroidery first. Yeah. Then you cut out the bodice and sewed it together. Yes. So this is all her hand stitching 
And this is obviously meant to be either the trim on the back or around a waistband or something. I have no idea what it would be. My mom got this from, from her grandma and kept it for years and then passed it on to me. So the moth holes have gotten to it, but I keep it in safety now. So pass that around. This is a finished corset cover, so you can kind of get the same idea of what, what's going on there and how it turns out on a finished piece. And again, it's all handwork, mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. And this would have been, your entredeau here would have had the ribbon running through it so that you can tighten it around the top so you have no gapping. And the back has ties that have fallen off, but they, they wrap around the drawstring into the front and you cinch that in the waist. This is probably about 1910 or 11 because of the shortened waist. You know, that vogue came back yes. for the Empire waist in right around 1910, 1911. It was very short-lived, and then they went back to the natural waist, and we got the full skirts in again around the teens. So that's probably right about 1910. And the seams are very fine. It's more yeah. Can you see? I don't know. Nope. I'll pass on that way, too. So these are a fairly plain pair of split crotch drawers. Out lip crotch. Yes. a pair of split drawers, unmentionables, um, with some lace insertion. I'm gonna hand insertion to show. So they backed some of it with white and then they didn't back other. These tiny tucks and these tiny ruffles that are hand stitched in. I think that was gathered on. Yep. Like by hand as they went, it was like a bit of gathering thread through it. Yep. Just to kind of help you look at the right undergarment. Oh, it's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Here's an Edwardian gown. Can you hold that for just one second? It's an Edwardian gown. They were so impressed. This, uh, those are some of my favorite ones. The button hole. You've seen the, the hooks on the fronts of corsets, the big hook. Oh, there's one in the video I just posted. You guys, watch the Amsterdam video because there's a course that has a giant hook on it. That's what that's for. You always ask what it was for. That's it. Here's the front of this Edwardian gown, which I'm terrified about the fact that I'm touching it right now. That's what it's for. Beautiful. Look at the insertion in this. Things customers get to say. <laughs> Yes. I put mo tiny monograms on my side too. Mm -hmm. these They're ones. hand sewn with thread, so it's a it's a hoop of steel, and then you you make this. Hard. Zach can do them in his sleep. Yes, thank you. Dorset button. Yeah. I found some old stuff. That's amazing. I'm hoarding them. You see, some of it was done by machine. You can see machine stitching. Yeah, that's done by machine. If you look at some of this insertion, I'm sure you're going to see. It's all machine. Oh, yeah, it's all machine. That's crazy. amazing. Well, the, the edges have been, the raw edges have been machined. It's these little inserts in here that are crazy. Yeah. You're just like, what? Well, they didn't insert them. How you do it, which is how I did mine, is you you baste all of the lace mm -hmm. on top of a flat piece of fabric. Oh, this is, was flat at some point. And then you sew it down each side, mm -hmm. snip away at the back, and fold the fabric back. Mm -hmm. That's how I did mine. So, how do you keep it from raveling? Well, you do this. Or on mine, I zigzagged it. Okay. Along the edge. And you can see that's where that's the fabric that used to be across there. And this used to be straight, and then they folded yeah. this whole thing. Yeah. Up. 
They uh, sewed the lace on top, cut very carefully on the fabric, and folded it back. Okay, but there's one over there that has round inserts in it. Have you used the round inserts? Round. Is it the pieces of lace? Yeah, well, no. The, it, the cloth on the insert, like this piece, would be round. They're muffle fest. What do you mean? Hang on, I'll show it to you in a second. <laughs> Kathy's showing us her panties. Well, this was yeah. This was under the corset, and then this color thing kind of covered the top of the corset, so you didn't see the ridge on the outside. It certainly showed Thursday night at Costume College <laughs> when she was out in her panties. I so I to see you, college lady. So when I discovered, after falling in love with this in the mat, I found a pair of drawers with exactly the same lace and ribbons on. So let's make that. Well, that was the fun part because I'm a I'm a mathematician, yes. so I was looking at my photo and like drawing lines on yes, it. Yes, yes. The exact angle to get. Oh, <laughs> to get oh. To wow. Well, that leaves me out of that. <laughs> <laughs> because it's all white, okay. That's beautiful. 18th century belt buckle. Okay, it's bed chats time. Um, I didn't do one yesterday because I feel like I just like traveled for two days and nothing happened. So I went from Amsterdam to Munich and that somehow took all day because I got to the airport early and then my flight was delayed. And then I got into the place and there was no way to go to Munich really except whatever. So then I went from Munich to um, Austria, uh, Salzburg, and that took all day. So <laughs> we didn't really do anything yesterday either. So yeah, two days of travel was weird. So anyway, we had a, a pretty good day today, a little recap. Um, I went out down for breakfast and then I went on a walkabout for like an hour and discovered the town Solamente. There's a bunch of footage for that. And then came back and did a walking tour where I went to almost exactly the same places um, <laughs> with Jenny and then and then more. Like it was definitely longer and more stuff, but. Um, and then we were set on our own. So Kathy and I went and got some food and then we went and saw Mozart's birthplace, which was awesome, but we couldn't actually film in there, so that sucked. Um, so they had some of his first edition music. They had a bunch of like facsimiles of his letters. They had one of his original pianofortes. They had his childhood violin, and then they had another pianoforte that was like a reproduction of his like household one that he used all the time. Um, there's like people talking outside my door, and I don't know why. Um, and then we went shopping because there was a store that looked very choicely like Kathy. And I didn't film in there because I thought that was probably rude, um, but I did take some pictures. Um, so, yeah. Um, she bought a couple jackets that were amazing, also shown in the video here. And then we came back, or we had dinner, and we came, which was okay, but not amazing. 
And then we came back and we, there was a show and tell where there was like passing around of stuff um, that got brought that was like antique or interesting in some way. So we all just like sat around and talked about it for a little while. Um, we discussed Cece, uh, who was an empress of Austria and also Hungary and that's how the Austro-Hungarian Empire started actually. Because tomorrow we're gonna go to Bad Ischl, which I was like, what is that? It's a hunting lodge, like 45 minutes from here. And we're gonna go check that place out and it was their like simple palace. <laughs> um, but it was like her favorite place. So we're gonna go see that. And then there's apparently like more shopping. This is more shopping heavy than I thought it would be, <laughs> but I like shopping, so that's great. Um, and I didn't spend any money today, which is fantastic. I mean, I like about food and stuff, but that's it. Um, yeah. So tomorrow should be cool um, in the last day of this vlog, hopefully. I feel like Amsterdam was a an assault on the senses as far as like all the craziness. And this place is too, but like in a completely different way because the streets, like the housing all looks like macarons. <laughs> like they are all these pastel colors and they are perfectly clean. Like everything looks like Disneyland. Like I keep looking around just going everything looks fake because it's so clean here. Like the ground is clean. The the walls on the houses are clean, like super, super clean. Like it, it looks like it was put up yesterday, but these buildings were put up in like the 1300s in some cases and you're just like wow I can't believe that, that that survived and it still looks like this and it's that clean like they take a lot of pride in it but it's also like I'm sure it rains here a lot so I was very excited that it didn't rain today it is supposed to rain tomorrow so I don't know what's gonna come of that but we'll see um but yeah so far so good on this trip so <laughs> to that <laughs> Um, everything is going well for those of you who have been following along in the saga. Um, so I'm, I'm fairly satisfied with everything. Um, and then the day after tomorrow, we're going to go to Vienna, I think by train. Yeah. And we will experience some Vienna for a couple days, which will be awesome. We're in the bus going to Bad Ischl, and here's some trees for you to look at. Um, it's beautiful here, peeps. Uh, behind the trees. Oh, oh, big old break in trees. Woo woo. There's a lake over there, um, and a bunch of houses and churches. Very small rocks. I believe those are some Alps. I have no confirmation, I just made that up just so you all know. Oh, uh, we came through the Klein Alps, which are small Alps. Oh, what's that over there? There's a town. This town is your town. This town is my town. Hello, we're going to Bad Ischl, which is a small town that Sissy, who was made to friend Joseph. Uh, for those of you guys who watch home movies, have ever seen that TV show, there is a song about Franz Kafka that my husband and I have turned into Franz Joseph and it goes, he is Franz Joseph. Anyway, so that's going through my head the entire time that she's talking about this and I can't actually listen to what she's saying entirely about Susie and Franz Joseph. So we're going to their hunting lodge apparently, which is called Kaiserhausen or something like that. Kaiser Villa. Kaiser Villa. Let's go with Kaiser Villa. Um, and it is their hunting lodge, which they consider their small palace, uh, which I am excited to see today. Uh, and then we're going to get set out on the world to go shopping. Uh, my goal in life today is a hot chocolate. Okay, look at how stunning this is. The Suzuki dealership is stunning, guys. <laughs> the Shell station. Uh, why? Why? Oh, there we go. There's some prettiness. Okay, we're done here. Oh, look at these houses. They're so cute. I love the balconies and all the flowers. And here's some trees in the way. Cool. Oh, oh, look at this. Dun, 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 dun. I think that's bad to which you can't see because there's reflection. But here's a nice river.
This is their wee hunting lodge. I mean, you know, not bad. Okay, I have this place behind me. Uh, in a totally expected turn of events uh, for European big houses, uh, I was not allowed to take photos or video in there, so that's what happened. It was a hunting lodge, though. It was, uh, there was a lot of old furniture and old paintings and CC was beautiful and I saw the dusk um, on which the letter was written to start World War One. That was probably the most notable thing uh, that happened in there but it's beautiful but um, you know it was a beautiful palace a uh, hunting lodge situation it wasn't as you know it wasn't super huge so I can understand why she was saying it was small um, but it you know it's massive for any kind of house that we have right now uh, definitely think it's worth a visit. It's uh, very hunting lodgy though, so if you don't like seeing stuffed things and antlers everywhere, that's what's in there. Down, or I didn't see, she used to have climbing rings as well mm -hmm. in that room. She's basically like an acrobat. She was a very, very modern in her approach to health. You have tea, and your husband's gonna build you a chalet to have this your tea. This is a pretty bomb place to have that happen. Look at the gazebo, uh, the, uh, yeah. for want of a better word. It's pretty sweet. It's like a jungle in here. I mean, as breakfast next go. It's pretty swank. We went in there because it's a photography museum, although we're not allowed to honestly film in there either. Bad. Um, so, and there's some sort of cannon fire going on. Hopefully this is cannon fire going on down there. So if you hear loud banging, that's what that is. Um, I'm walking down a very steep gravelly hill right now, in case you couldn't tell. Um, but there's a lot of photography in there and then a movie about CC and Franz Joseph. So we watched that, which was uh, very long, it's like an hour, um, and in German. But luckily we have a translator, so not really, but <laughs> our tour guide uh, speaks German, so that's very helpful. Okay, so we're gonna end on to lunch now. And there's the beautiful Kaiser Villa. Look at this. Oh, it's so cute. I love me a little town. We are going to be pointed at shopping and then Noelle is gonna go find food because I'm in a state of readiness for the food. Apparently Kathy is also. Yeah, I am also. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. All right, so we're gonna go find some noms. And then possibly some things to buy. Why the British telephone box in the middle of Austria? Because we sold them all. Because you sold them all. And a timeline. Oh, look at the bells. Ding dong, merrily we go. No planter? <laughs> Apparently non operational. That building. It's a post office. Wow. That post office up close. Yeah. That is beautiful. We're at a market. Wow. And they have old photographs. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Jenny, what is this place called? Towner. Apparently this is the place for the chocolate cake. So we came here to get the chocolate cake and I got hot chocolate and then I'm gonna be souped up on that bus on the way home. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Completely dusted that hot chocolate and a giant cake. Well, I did okay on the cake and then I had a little help. How was your cake? My cake looks pearl. <laughs> Pretty fantastic. Yeah, did you like your hot chocolate? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is what the whole room looks like, including yourself. Inception, 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 inception. Galen, how was your cake? It was delicious. Last week's the I love being a bad influence. That's my best quality. What even is this cake, guys? This is the restaurant we were just in. I mean, and by restaurant, I mean cake emporium. All they do is serve cakes there and chocolates. Yum, but damn, imagine your wedding cake. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at this house. It's amazing. Hi, so we just went to a concert of what do you guys call that? Church music. Like organ, soprano, church music. Uh, so I'm about to install that here for you to watch. There's nothing to see here because I'm just looking at an organ. But the, the sound was insane in there. So I'm just gonna give you some clips of what it was like, but damn. I had a little, uh, a little Fantasia moment in there. My head wandered into an animated sequence. That was pretty awesome. So hopefully you get that too.
extremely wet bed chats today because I just took a shower. Um, so we are done with Salzburg. Tomorrow we're gonna get up in the morning and go on to Vienna. And I feel like we're there tomorrow and then the next day and then the day after that we go to Paris. So, um, quick trip through Vienna. Um, it should be amazing. Um, recap on today was that we went over to Bad Ischl, which is a little village like up in the mountains by a lake. And that's where Cece, who is Empress Elizabeth, that ruled kind of when, Vic uh, yeah, when Victoria was ruling in England. Uh, she ruled here and she helped start the Austro-Hungarian Empire because people really liked her. She's beautiful. She was married to Franz Joseph, so, um, and not like super happily on her part. She wasn't a very happy person, but um, she was super beautiful and people loved her. Um, anyway, we went to her house there, which I can't show you. Um, it was alright. Like, it was, you know, not, uh, the best kept up house that I've been in, um, as far as, like, how houses go. But it was mid-range, I would say. Um, it was definitely a beautiful estate, like, out in the country, and it's so pretty there. And then we went back down to the town, and we had, um, lunch, and we went to an antique fair, and then we went and got some of the famous chocolate cake from here and some hot chocolate. So mission accomplished on the hot chocolate front. Um, and then we came back here and we went to a concert at, well, my friend and I went to a, a wine bar and hung out. And I had a charcuterie and cheese plate, which was lovely. And then we went to the concert at the church and that was awesome. So far on this trip, I'm having a good time. I'm enjoying it. I feel like I want more. I feel like um, we have a lot of free time that's our own time, so I guess wanting more is kind of my own fault, for example. But I'm used to when I go on a tour, not getting planned within the inch of my life, but definitely like having more um, like guided tours of the city by people who actually live here and can give us a whole bunch of facts and stuff and like ones that are slightly longer and more detailed stuff like that would be really nice but it's not what's happening on this tour so it is what it is and we're gonna carry on um, but that's kind of my opinion so far like I wish the accommodations were a little bit nicer than these are because I keep feeling I feel like we're staying in a dorm room right now and I feel like the place I stayed in at the airport was a dorm room but that was my own choice by the way uh she did stay there also um and so did like my friends um so we all made the choice to stay at that hotel I don't think there was a lot in Munich <laughs> to choose from by the airport so um but this one is kind of similar actually um and I would like you know it'd be nice if it was um, a nicer accommodation apparently the one in Vienna is gonna be way nicer so we'll see how that goes um, there's just not a lot of like tour on my tour we had like she walked us around the town and she she's very knowledgeable about um, this town but it would have been nice to have like you know a walking tour by a guide from the city um, who actually took us in places and stuff like that I don't know I don't know what I'm looking for here but it feels like very empty as far as like tour goes on this tour um and then today's house tour was really weird actually um it's a whole bunch of people on my my tour group were sort of upset about it because we had to be and it was not her fault like this is how the house is but they forced you to be with the tour guide in the house and they forced you to go on a german only tour so if you don't speak german the guy is not talking to you and he's giving them and we got like a piece of paper that you could read about like a thing on each room but the guy is like clearly going around each piece of furniture slash picture or whatever and like talking in german about each thing so all the people who speak german get like way more info out of it which is probably why all of us were like Meh, when we went to it i mean it was a nice house and stuff but um the person who's running this tour is really into this cc chick and I think some of us on the store are, and some of us are like, okay. <laughs> so, I mean, 
that's not really how I guess I would have chosen to spend my day, maybe? I don't know. Maybe I would have. I don't know. So I don't know what all the options were. Um, I just sort of expected more tour on my tour. And the other people that I've been talking to sort of feel the same way. So that's where we're at right now. <laughs> Hopefully it will get better slash change. Um, um, I think tomorrow when we get to Vienna, we're going to have a workshop with Barbara Penzendorfer. And she is awesome. She's going to meet us in Vienna. I think she lives in Germany, though, um, naturally. Um, she owns Royal Black Corsetry. You can look her up. She is awesome. So I'm excited about having um, a couple hours with her. I think we only have like two hours with her. But um, it should be pretty awesome. And uh, I am really looking forward to seeing her tomorrow. So that's exciting. We're also going to go on a train ride through... Um, Austria, like from here to there, to Vienna, Vienna. so um, it's supposed to be really beautiful, so hopefully that's also awesome. Anyway, spirits are high, still, t I'm like totally having fun, having a good time with my friends, hanging out and whatever, um, it's not totally what I expected, I don't know what I expected, like I mean you guys have heard me talking about this tour for like ever, so I don't really know what I was expecting, but... I guess, I guess what I can say is I've been on tours all over the world, like literally seven continents now. And so I was sort of expecting more like, and they're all very similar, like every single one of them, all the way from like huge group tours to very, very private tours where I have one guy who's there to babysit me and my husband um, for like weeks on end. And um, so I've been on all kinds of tours and they're all actually very similar in the way that they're run. And this one is different than all of them. There's a lot of... You go figure out what you want to do with time. So. Those are just facts. That's not really an opinion. <laughs> That's just how it's happening. Um, how I feel about it is like, I don't really know. I just sort of, I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> I think it's, I feel, I'm confused about how I feel about it. So on the one hand, it's nice to have time to yourself and be able to like do whatever you want. And on the other hand, like, I don't, I don't feel like I'm getting a lot of tour on this tour. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Anyway. Uh, I'm not trying to trash talk, just telling you how I feel. So, uh, anyway, this vlog was probably super weird because I did a lot of traveling in it and um, a lot of stuff I couldn't even show you. <laughs> so, probably a weird vlog to hang out with too, but here we are. Hopefully Vienna will be more awesome and I will have a lot more awesome footage of cool stuff to show you. I'm hoping Barbara will let me film. Um, I don't know why she wouldn't, but if she doesn't, then I won't, because obviously, um, that'd be rude. <laughs> so, um, uh, we'll see if she'll let me film tomorrow, and hopefully we'll get to you guys a little bit more interesting stuff. We're, why I'm gonna go, um, we're gonna go see the CC collection. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film in there, because, like, it's Austria, and they seem to not like you taking photos or filming in any of these places. Um, but well, maybe, maybe it'll be awesome. And then, um, Schoenburn Palace, hopefully I'll be able to film in there. We'll see, but I'll let you know. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys in Vienna. See you later.